Hi guys, welcome back to Debris Day. First of all, a quick apologies. Um, I was away for the last week, so I've not been able to do TVOS 12 Beta 9, but we do have TVOS Beta 10 that's been released. So I'm gonna download it, we're gonna do a quick check and see what's on there. And there's a couple of uh, additional updates people have been asking for. One is, how is my setup configured? So I'm gonna do a quick video on that and include it in this video. Um, and also there's a couple of extra features that have been added that uh, Harlow Quinn has mentioned, which uh, thanks Harlow Quinn, I'll mention that in a little while as well. Okay, let's get to the download guys, you know what I'm gonna do. Okay guys, usual, let's, uh, let's do the download. So go across to settings, you've been here before, so I'll just speed this up. Okay, let's have a quick look, see what's, uh, see what's happened. Let's check the version number. One six J five three six four A. So that's now beta 10. Uh, let's do the usual. Let's go straight up to screensavers because we like our screensavers, don't we? Yes, we do. Screensavers first. Travelling along Sheikh Zayed Road. Okay. Okay, so first things first. When you push the button on a controller, the details of the uh, screensaver that you're looking at appears or disappears. Uh, passing downtown Los Angeles, usual stuff. Uh, uh, Burj Khalifa, come on, we want the ISS. We want the ISS ones. I'm not sure they're going to be on here. <clears throat> no, they're still not on there. They're holding on those to the last version, aren't they? Okay, so that's not on there. Um, what else can we check? Um, so Harlow Quinn told me, and I haven't tried this yet, um, Harlow Quinn told me that if you press the Siri button and search for my iPad or my iPhone, it should do that for you and tell you where it is. So let's try that. Find my iPad. Oh, maybe it's not enabled. Uh, let me try this. Find my iPhone. Ah, so it's not working for me. Now, it may have worked for Harlow Quinn in the previous speeder, and if it did, please let me know. But at the moment, it's not working for me. So Harlow, give me a PM. Let's find out what's going on, find out why that's not working. Let's do some of the checks. Let's go to our movies. And let's find out. Let's try it, because Infinity War didn't have uh, Dolby Atmos last time I checked. So I'm just gonna do a quick check now. So, oh, come out there, sorry, press the wrong button. Let's go down there. So, Infinity War. Let's give this a try. And no, it's still HD, it's not even 4K, which is really surprising for a new film like Infinity War. What we will do, let's go down to here, let's go into Dolby Atmos settings, see what's going on in there. Video and audio, uh, 4K, HDMI, Atmos available, nothing has changed in there. Audio output, HDMI. So for the guys who are asking how I've configured my setup, Excuse, ignore the shadows here, um, for how I've configured my setup. So I've got my projector uh, up on the ceiling and I've got a uh, fiber, um, optical fiber HDMI cable that goes all the way through the ceiling, down the wall and it goes into my amp as the output of the amp. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay, as requested, um, this is the uh, ceiling mount that I've got. I've got one of these uh, brush ceilings and this is the fiber HDMI cable. Now on the back of my Optoma, um, 4K projector, it goes into um, the second HDMI port there. It's upside down because the projector's upside down to project properly on the uh, on the wall. Um, so we've got one cable going into there. So that's the output from the uh, Onkyo uh, receiver. Uh, so on the back of the Onkyo receiver, um, this is the uh, the source going out of the Onkyo receiver going up to the projector which I've just shown you. And we have two inputs here. 
Um, one of these is for the Apple TV 4K and one of the, is for the Xbox X. Now we have all of these connections on the back for all of the speakers. Um, there's another video you can see about that. On the Apple TV, which is just beside it, um, I have the HDMI cable coming in. I have a network connection, just show you the back of that. And then I also have the power connection going into there. So basically I'm going from the Apple TV um, into the receiver on one of these two, and then out of the receiver up to the 4K projector. Um, that's really it, that's a very simple setup. So for those guys who wanted to see my setup, that's my setup, very, very basic. Um, the one thing I would say is with the projector, the projector that I've got, um, although you lose some of the contrast during the day, it's like middle of sunshine day, it's like one o'clock in the afternoon at the moment, bright sunshine, so I have to shut the curtains and I don't have blackout curtains here, so it does look uh, quite contrasty, I lack of contrast, but it does work. In an evening when it's dark, um, the picture's stunning and I would thoroughly recommend anyone getting one. Hope that's useful for you guys. So uh, one of the other things that you probably are aware of now is on September the 12th, uh, Mapple have announced its uh, release. So that'll be iOS 12 um, on the iPhone, tvOS 12 for Apple TV and a new version of uh, um, the Apple Watch iOS. Now, the one thing that I will do a video after September the 12th, um, when they release the final versions of these softwares, um, is that on your iPhone, you now can use, instead of the Apple controller, you can use your iPhone to control the tvOS. I'm expecting on September the 12th or just after that to release the full version of this, and also they should have those screensavers on there. So anyway, quick mini update. Hope that's useful for you guys. Look forward to seeing you next time on Dubri Day. Bye.